Hey guys, the last game of this week is the Bulls versus the Griquas. It's going to be played at Loftus Fairfield in very, very hot temperatures. I'm glad I'm not in Pretoria this week. It's going to be quite windy as well, so you don't know what to expect from that game. Probably not a lot of kicking from this game. I don't know. The Bulls played a very running and expansive game in that first Superfan Saturday. Can we expect more of that? Jake White has the ability to surprise people in any game. Guys, I don't know too much about the Griquas. I know some of their players. So if I do not know something or I, you maybe have a better prediction for me, please leave it down in the comments below. Looking up front, Jock van Rooyen, the veteran, he does start again above Lizo Kaboka. He is on the bench. Cornel Els, he gets a start again. And Trevor Niakane, that's a very, very good front row. I can't see how the Griquas could actually get up against that because that's just a very good front row. Looking at the two locks for the teams, Norkia actually comes in. I was actually surprised by that. I thought Manjezi did pretty well and he would probably start most of the season. He plays with Jason Jenkins. I thought Jason Jenkins uh, has been playing okay. He hasn't been what we know of him. And I do think he's a guy that's highlighted probably as an option for the rugby championship if South Africa does end up going there at the end. The biggest surprise for the Bulls was probably that Tim Agaba is in at number 8 and not Vermeulen at number 8. So I think Vermeulen is probably rested at the end of the day. I'm not sure there. But Arne Boota is captain in the side and, well, he's a guy that can play just like Dwayne Vermeulen any day. Marco, Bo Marco van Staden and Arne Boota are guys that are threats at the breakdown. At number 9, Ivan van Seyl is up against Zach Berger. Zach Berger, he's a quite a busy guy. At number 9, I think Ivan van Seyl, a lot of Bulls guys still don't like him. A lot of supporters still are asking him to be dropped. Zach Berger, he's a little bit more busy than uh, van Seyl. So we might see how that goes in this matchup. Mornay Stein versus George White. George White is probably the most like-for-like -like battle Mornay Stein will ever have. Because both of them don't really attack the line much. Both of the, them are guys that like spreading the ball. They are very good tacticians when it comes to the number 10 jersey and both of them are very good kickers of the ball. David Creel is in at number 11 for the Bulls. I was surprised by that. Curtly Aron say he's been he's been doing pretty well but I think a couple of guys have been rested for this one since it is a Griquas game. The Bulls are probably favorites for it and David Creel he is a young guy that is going to probably do well this season. He is a guy that is highlighted for the future. Then it is Cornell Hendricks versus Andre Swartz. Andre Swartz has been a stalwart for the Griquas for a couple of years. And in Stedman Hans, he did pretty well at number 13 last week. He's up against Klaassen. Kassande, or Kassande, I'm not sure how to say it from the Griquas. He used to be in the academy side for the Bulls, so he knows some of these guys. Maybe, I don't know, the Bulls really shifted a lot of their players over this offseason. Travis Ismail, he's a number 14. Hugh Aplon. At number 15, up against Anthony Fulmunk. That's both very exciting number 15s. Both love running with the ball, loves joining the line, love stepping through players. So I love to see how that would go. Aplon, he had his birthday this week, so he would like to score a try on his Bulls official debut this week. Going on the benches, the Griquas brought in their newest player from the Kings, Alandre van Rooyen. They signed him, I think, today or yesterday. He's in at number 16. Johan Grobler, he's in at number 16 for the Bulls. Lizo Koboka, he will want to make an impact when he does come on for the Bulls. Then Sintu Mujezi, I think he would do exactly the same thing. Alderich Low, another Kings player that came into this Bulls side now as well. Papir, I thought he is the guy. I still think he's the guy that's supposed to be starting for the Bulls. So he is on the bench there. And then there's a couple of experienced guys listed for the Griquas. One of them, Ashlyn Davids, he's going to want to show what he still can do. There's a couple of big names as non-playing subs, so guys that might feature if there's any COVID cases or something like that. Dwayne Vermeulen being one for the Bulls. And then Bjorn Basson, an ex-Bulls player, back where he started it all at the Griquas. He's still there, but he is going to the USA one of these days at the number 26. Guys, my prediction for this game, I'd probably go Bulls by 21 points, but it could be even further. You saw what they did to the Sharks the other day. Let me know your prediction for this game. 
down in the comments below. Sorry if I don't know too much of the Griquas. I'm still learning. I will see how they play this weekend and next week will be a little bit of a better prediction. Guys, check out any of these other videos next to me and then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.